All right, you guys. So I'm coming on to do a little late night talk, rant, whatever you want to call this, a discussion about Twin Flame Journey. So again, this is new to me. It's not one of the many things I had no idea what I was doing embarking upon this freaking journey. Um, and I did the thing earlier that said I was done because it was really heavy. It is really heavy. So here's the thing. He and I have connected. And I know he's playing with it because I can feel it. And that's the truth. And when he disconnected, and I'm going to keep it real, it was like I had a question of, do you want to be with him? Like, And I would rather die than than be without this person. And that's how I felt. And I was crying for like days. I would just like burst out in tears when he disconnected after I did that thing. Um, <clears throat> he's very smart. I'm learning this. Um, uh, and so that's, that's what happened. I know he intentionally disconnected. I didn't know that at first. Um, and when he did that, though, I, my heart ripped out from my chest and it really physically affected me on a very, very great level. Um, I don't know if my twin flame journey is like everybody else's, um, with it being this powerful or not, um, but it is very powerful. And I know he he's learning what he's doing if he doesn't already know what he's doing. Um, but there was a moment in time where... <clears throat> you know, I had a choice. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I can't, I don't, I don't want to be without this person. This is my life purpose. Um, other than all the other ones I did, right? Um, I, but I, it, but I don't. And then the next day they, I got a warning and this is the cool thing about messages. You guys, so there's another thing in that two, two, a lot of twos, two, 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 two. Um, see, is that I had like an, in, an incoming warning. It was like two, 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 three, three, three. It was letting me know something was incoming regarding my twin flame, which got my, my things heightened. Cause I had been crying uncontrollably random bouts of crying for days at this point. Um, it was, it was nuts and I hated it. This is what's going on. And then I didn't know I was going to talk about this, but welcome. Um, <clears throat> and then the next thing I know, they, they warned me there was something incoming and then I saw twos again and I just got love and forget. So forgiveness card and love popped up right when I was saying that. Um, but then I got twos again and then I decided to tune in and it was him we connected again and it was beautiful and oh my god as soon as that happened my heart filled back up and immediately it was like and I was like oh and I jumped out and like was that real like please tell me that was real and I think I spent a half an hour going please tell me that was real and spirit said he asked and I'm like what like it was the best feeling in the world to me actually um to I felt like I was dying right before that literally felt like I was dying for days just would bust out in tears like somebody had died I was dying um not a good feeling then just some things and then that happened and we like reconnected I saw the cords again and this time I saw our thing like go away it was very intense and oh my god it was the best feeling in the world and that night I slept I was like I can sleep I was like thank you and like <laughs> I just went to sleep I was like a little kid and that's been um my experience lately like it's been that intense and I can tell when he's like messing we are definitely telepathic together and that's the reality of it like I love this person more than I knew you could love anybody in existence and yet I'm struggling so bad. Um, and some things have been said and done between him and I. Because the thing about a twin flame journey is when you meet, your souls merge. And I remember feeling that with him and so did he. Our souls merge. That's what happens. And they start to read each other. You know your life's journeys. Your body starts to download all of that from each other. 
your sole purpose is to break down everything that is not real. Um, basically, that's what I talked about. Meeting, making each other, heal each other. So you break down all of those things. So there's stages of a twin flame journey. And I'm learning this and it's making so much sense for what we've been going through since I met this man. Whatever time ago, two years ago, a year ago, whatever it was. Um, since I had the privilege of even touching his face. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> anyways, a little personal. But you go through these stages and each stage you're releasing something deeper. Okay, and then we all know I was struggling today. It was a big struggle. I couldn't work. I can't do anything. I, I'm having a hard time again just not crying sometimes. Um, when he's messing with my energy, it's heaven. It's the best feeling in the world. And then when he's not and he's doing something else, it's the worst feeling in the world. So that's kind of what I'm going through. And it's like I almost went off of this boat. And then, you know, words are said that weren't exactly nice. And I know why he did it. It doesn't mean he didn't tear my soul apart. And so that's what's up. And it's and it's a lot difficult. And after I said what I said today, like I went out of this contract. And somebody mentioned a shaman. I'm like, I am a shaman. And I'm like, what are these contracts? Uh, twin flame contracts, you guys been crying and it's like middle of the night are different than anything else they're not they are they're life purpose contracts these are souls that merge these are really half two halves of a soul this is literally my other half um and not everybody has that and you only ever have one okay so you only ever have one so to give that up i feel like you have to almost sever life's source or or get like I don't know some kind of crazy reasoning behind it like it's a big deal to give that up you know and, and I know that now like literally so when I talked about Romeo and Juliet it's like so much passion that I would die without this person like that's how I felt when I was asked the other night when we were not attached and I kept crying and literally all of a sudden it just came to me like, no, I don't want to be without him. Like, I don't want to ascend without him. And I realized, like, what kind of love is that? Like, I don't even know this person. I barely got time with this person. That's why I'm, like, so frustrated. I'm like, he doesn't even know my love yet. Like, if he ever gets the chance, just wait. <laughs> like, just wait. Um, <clears throat> guys, don't go crazy for nothing. Um... But it's like just this little bit of time of being with this person. I love this person so much. I don't I don't want to live without him all of a sudden. And this is a lot to digest. And so I'm like, what am I am I going why am I caring so much? I'm not used to anybody caring about me, which is why right away when he didn't tell me he wanted me, he didn't tell me these things, I moved on. That's really what that was. Like, okay, he doesn't want me. I'm going to go. But I'm, looking, I'm, I'm processing all this. And I'm looking at all of this. And I'm trying to understand this person that I don't know. But that I would die for. Literally. Um, and don't want to live without. Right? I wasn't trying to be suicidal. I was meaning like my healing. Like I can't focus on it. Um, but in that twin flame journey, you, you come together and you break down pieces and parts of what is not real to get to what is real so you can be in harmony and in unity and that is your sole purpose i feel like this is what you we do every lifetime and this is what i've said before um and but this time we get to ascend together and be together and so there is a group of us twin souls right um that i've talked about that that um pertain to my meditation that i did that are in fact being connected right now. He and I can both feel, I guarantee you that. I know he's messed with the connection a little bit because I know we both feel it. I know we've had moments of telepathic connection and it probably scares the shit out of him because it's weird for me. Like it's really, this is very real. It's very real across the board. Um, but right now I feel like it's heightened more than usual and I feel like it's very intense. So I don't feel like it's usually this much you know what I'm saying like this is a twin flame journey on steroids much like everything I've done so with all that being said I'm learning all of this so far okay and then like with the Romeo and Juliet it's like so much passion right like I would 
instead of dying together, because I don't want to do that, I would really enjoy ascending together and being in perfect harmony and having really hot, great moments all the time <laughs> together. And that's my hope, right? And so that's where I'm going to stay. And as hard as this is, so what I did tonight is I asked again, I'm like, okay, God, I went straight to source because I can do that. When I do that, I do see him. I know it sounds nuts, but I do. I have seen what you would call God. Um, and it's very interesting. He's, he's massive energy. That's the best way I can describe it. And the person that did the hypnotizing on me knows that that's where I went too. Like, this is not the first time. So, anywho, I went straight to the source. And I'm like, yo, fill me in here. Like, this this is not right. I'm, like, literally trying to empty out my apartment. Like, I'm trying to escape something that is bigger than I am. Because spirit did really, truly realign me to this person. Spirit tells me this person sees my heart. And I know he does. Because when I met him, my heart freaking opened up. And ever since, my whole world has changed even more. And like I said, I love this person so much. I don't want to be without him. It's that insane. And that's what's been happening to me this last week, two weeks, whatever it's been. <clears throat> that has been that intense. Where when we're not connected, I'm not okay. Like it's, it's not okay. I don't know if he feels that way. I know he's messed with the connection. Um, it's weird. It's true. And I don't blame him. You know, all of a sudden this happened. So that's that's what I'm trying to get to. I talked to God tonight and I'm like, can you please, is there still a contract? And I don't know why when I ask, sometimes I hear no immediately. Okay, so there's some darkness I've got going on too. But um, I saw the contract again. He and I still very much still have a contract. Um, and in the contract... Um, we are soulmates. That is absolutely in there. Soulmates, best friends, truce, healing, and passion. And that's just some of them. Um, but there's quite a few things to that contract. And I'm like, oh, and, I, and I saw the contract, and in my mind's eye, I'm like cuddling on the contract. <laughs> I'm like, and so you see what I'm doing? It's like, it's this weird, it's so much, and it's very, very fucking painful. Very painful. Very, oh my God, this is the most painful ride I've ever been on. And I keep asking myself, do I get off? Because that's what I would normally do by now because I'm worth way more than this shit, okay? And that's the other thing. I'm like, I'm worth so much more than this. Like, why would I be subjecting myself to this? But spirit really did remove this last person from my life, even with warnings to both of us. And I happen to know that my twin flame, my other half, I don't think he was talking out of his ass when he happened to tell me a few things that sparked my major awakening. Um, everything's purposeful. Everything is absolutely purposeful. And there's messages that Spirit has been communicating to both of us through my cards and things that I've, I've noticed. And all of these are coming into play. And I'm like, okay. I, and I'm kind of seeing, okay, well, a lot of that 333 when I said that might be some of my ego coming off, right? Like, I'm better than this, and I deserve to be treated better than this, and I don't need to put up with this. And that's my initial reaction, and that's what I did a year ago. I'm like, I'm better than this. This dude doesn't want to, he treats me like crap. Like, I kept feeling like he didn't want me to be with anybody else, but he didn't want me. And this is, you know, I'm like, how can this be love? And it's very confusing. And I'm telling you, this is a beautiful learning journey. It really is. And the more I go through this, each layer I go deeper, I love this man even more. And he is an asshole to me. But I love him so fucking much. <laughs> and I can't help it. And that's where I'm at with this. So tonight I went to God and I'm like, what is this? Please. And so I saw the contract and I was honestly, my heart is filled. I think I would die if anything happened to that contract. I cuddled with the contract. Like, I'm like them. Not letting anybody touch it. <laughs> this is mine. Um, I didn't create the contract. That's the thing. He, I didn't see it until Sean was out of my life. They wouldn't let me see it. Um, I had asked several times. And then once <clears throat> that shift occurred, I was able to see the contract. And now I've asked to see it like five times. 
and it's the same every time um, just in different order um, and so you know it's not like I just created the contract and said this is what this is something he and I agree on on a soul level and so these things are not easy to get rid of these are our life purpose we are meant to come together get rid of everything we collected that is really not of us and allow ourselves to love that into unity and become one and ascend together. And it's beautiful when you really think of as clunky as this shit has been, as, as hurtful as this shit has been, as messy as this shit has been, I am beginning to love where I'm at and I don't want to leave. And so what happened, I went and sat with God like I do and he told me, or, you know, I keep asking what can I do to make this better and I don't get an answer when I say that. And then I'm like, okay, fine. Show me what do I need to do now? That was just, just simplified it. And then I got strength, compassion, and understanding. And I'm like, okay, this person hurts me and does not give me the same thing. So on the surface, it looks like I should not like this person and run. And that's the struggle. It's like, this is very painful. This hurts. I should leave. Like anybody else would say, dude, this guy doesn't like you. Why would you stay? What an idiot you are. But yet God tells me I should have strength, compassion, and understanding. Not, you deserve better. <clears throat> Which is what I thought a year ago. I thought I deserved better. And little did I know, this person is all I ever want and nothing more. And it gets stronger every day. Um, and the connection he and I have that will grow already that is struggling right now is very strong already. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like when it gets even stronger. I feel like he's going to have a little bit of control over me. I'm not prepared for. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, strength, compassion, and understanding and the ability to look beyond all the pain so I get it now it's not just as simple as you meet to heal it's as large as you could 777 it's as large as and Roger had mentioned sevens too didn't he it's as large as you meet we he and I are meeting to release not just his and my stuff you guys if you watch who I am you know who I am and that's who he is too he's supposed to be a big he is a big piece in this twin flame part um, and I wouldn't be doing it without him. I would not. Um, and I would probably be way worse off without him, even though this shit hurts like a son of a bitch. And I want to, I don't want to hurt him. I can't say I do. That's not right at all. Like I, I just wish the pain was not necessary. I think that's a really good way to say it because it hurts really bad. Um, but this is a real twin flame journey. It really truly is. It's uncontrollable. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt it is because I didn't just do it now either. He tested that connection. I know he did because I felt it. I see it. We do. We are. Yes, we are communicating. And that's what got so intense. It's like, I want him so bad. This hurts so bad. And I only wish I could go back and do it right the, the first time and see him and, 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 allow him to feel me then and I was not able to do so at that time unfortunately but that's because we come together to clear so much stuff so our own lives our own life struggle our own life's pain and remember how I said there's something about career so in a twin flame when we do unite there is something there we will <clears throat> be a powerhouse couple I really truly believe that um and even though it's kind of hard to imagine, it's like, is this really real? It's really kind of exciting. And so I came away tonight after sitting with God and, and being told I need to have strength, compassion, and understanding. And then it's like, okay, all right, strength for sure, because this shit hurts like a son of a bitch. I want to run. I want to cry. I want to hide. Compassion's easy. I, I, can, I can definitely have compassion for him, even though what he said destroyed my soul. Um, I, I see it. Like I said, I understand a lot of things now and I'm seeing even more, right? And I feel like I'm to the point where I'm, I'm almost like I'm ready. Um, where earlier I wanted to run, 
And so it's quite the shift, isn't it? And so also in part of the twin flame journey is coming to a stage where you have no choice but to be in strength, compassion, and understanding. Um, and those things are <clears throat> brought to the surface through the elimination of the ego and things of that nature. And so it's a beautiful thing. And so I just want to let you guys know that there is a lot of movement. Like I said, I'm not just sitting still trying to go, woe is me. But it was very heavy, so I do apologize. Um, I love this person very much so, and that's crazy to say. But it's true, and I can't, I can't, I can't deny that fact. Um, how does somebody have so much importance in your life that you've only met in these brief, freaking intense moments? Dreams. Um, that there's no denying that this spirit moves my world around this person, and this person affects my world completely. <clears throat> and all I can say is, he's been an asshole. But by golly, I'm very blessed. And I don't think I would change our journey for the world. I just can't wait to get to the good stuff. Because I'm ready for the makeup stuff. <laughs> like, because, you know, I think if, if it's this term, like, I'm ready to get past this to the good stuff. Because holy medilly, there better be some good stuff coming. I'm just going to hold faith because, like, Spirit told me, it's like, this is our sole purpose. It's not something we can just give up on. That's a big deal. And I feel like this is just part of the struggle, right? This is just part of what we have to, what I have to recognize. And I know he does too. Whether he does or not, I don't know. And so when I think about the fact that my own twin flame didn't choose me, I don't know that that's an option either way. I don't think, I think that love is real on both ends. And, and I just, I feel like it's a better way to look at it. And that's might be where that strength comes in, is to trust that even though... <clears throat> he's never showed me a lot I know something's there and I'm going to have strength in that and compassion and seeing beyond the surface of everything that's going on and recognizing the stages that we're going through and I'm going to own my power and I know what woman I am and I know what I have to offer and I know that I'm just going to get better and better every day. I'm going to marinate. How about that? All right. So that's where I'm at now. And that's really what the twin flame journey really is about. <coughs> Excuse me. And man, has that been the case. Ever since I've met this person, I have gone through so much changes. It's not even funny. And yes, I see him to the core. I live two doors down from him. There is no way I cannot see every bit of who he is, basically. You know what I mean? Like, what a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. Shit. I'm going to sit that with that and go with that and know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is bigger than I am. It's not, it's not just some relationship. He is not just some dude. According to our contract, and like I've even told him before, and I saw two, 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 and I said that, he is my best friend. Um, that's even in our contract. And this is that blue contract, the new one. And there's passion. <laughs> and so when I read the contract and I lay on the contract, <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but there's a lot of sorrow here too. Like there's a lot of fucking pain here, you guys. Um, there's a lot. And I feel like it's on speed, like, like it's being rushed to process and things like that. And I don't know how much longer we have left. It is very hard to be this close to him, to be connected to him, to know that he's playing with that energy and waking up through this as well. This is very hard and to not be able to be with him. Um, but I'm going to sit in the fact with compassion, strength, and understanding and know that he is being stripped of all that he is. Two, 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 two right when I said that again. Um, just like I am. <clears throat> And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my big girl panties and I'm gonna get a good night's rest, work my ass off tomorrow, and then do the Kyron Horman video. That is my goal. Um, just done. I'm not gonna give up on anything. It was just a really sad moment. Um, so forgive me. But I learned a lot through it, and so it's part of the processing, I'm sure. 
part of the letting go of whatever I needed to let go of on that layer. Because let me tell you, if anybody would have ever said that to me before, they probably would have never seen me again. I wouldn't have even thought twice about anything other than bye. Like if I'm not somebody to force somebody to like me. And so that's the really hard part and the tricky part of the situation. Um, and then that's where more understanding comes in too. It's like I know from day one this guy means more to me than just some dude. He's not just some dude. And every time I say these things, you guys, the synchronicities are crazy through this video. Um, but he's not just some dude. And so I'm going to stop looking at it like he is just some dude who, who doesn't love me. And look at it like, again, like there is just another layer that needs to come off to unite with him because that is our sole purpose. That is our goal purpose. We are supposed to ascend together. And when I say that, I feel better. I don't, I don't, five, five, five. I don't know if he does or if these videos freak him out or anything like that. And maybe that's why, you know, it's really hard. I'm sure having me as your twin flame is really hard. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to stop trying to run again. I keep trying to run because it hurts really bad. Um, <clears throat> really bad. And it's like one of those things where I just want to hide. I just want to hide. I don't, it's, it's, I don't like it. It's embarrassing. I don't like it. Um, but it is what it is. And I can't hide. I'm literally two doors down from my twin flame. And man, is this one intense freaking ride for both of us, I'm sure. He affects me, so I'm sure I affect him just the same. And so I'm going to try to stand more in strength, compassion, and understanding. And those three are going to be my focus. Strength, compassion, and understanding. I need a lot of strength. Good Lord, I need a Lord help me right now. I need a lot of strength, let me tell you. Um, you can tell I've been crying like for days. And then the compassion. Um... I think the compassion for me and the understanding are kind of one and the same. 